Good morning. It's Monday the 4th of September 2023. And I'm parked here in Bowlees, just a few miles up from Middleton and Teesdale. And today is my first full, it's my first full day in the North Pennines. And this walk that I'm doing today is really the reason that first attracted me to the North Pennines. So I'm really excited about today's walk. This is low force. Isn't that fantastic? It's a low waterfall, but it's certainly a powerful one. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, I'm going to cross to the other side of the River Tees now then. So I'm now about to cross Winch Bridge. What a wonderful bridge. So this was just designed for pedestrians to use. And it does say that only one person at a time should use it. Any more than one person does so at their own risk. <laughs> Okay. Having crossed Winch Bridge, I came to a junction of paths where I joined the Pennine Way once again. Here I turned right to pass a fascinating sculpture of Swaledale sheep. A wonderful place to be, a walker. I wonder if that means it's a wonderful place for walkers to be, or was that actually written by somebody called a walker? <laughs> oh, there's something else on the other side as well. It reverts to scrub, once it's gone it's lost, a farmer. Now does that mean this was written by a farmer, or was it somebody actually called a farmer? <laughs> view of low force from this side now. I can stand here and watch that waterfall all day. It's fantastic. OK, 
Okay, well I'm going to follow the path further up Teesdale now, and I'm on another section of the Pennon Way again. Heading on from Low Force, I continued along the Pennine Way, which followed the Tees upstream. Around here, dippers and wagtails can often be seen feeding in the boulder-scattered river. What a beautiful morning. Yeah. And you know what? This whole week, the weather is set to be good. Oh. They must have known I was coming up to the North Pennines this week, so they've, they've made it a good week of weather for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, we've had quite a miserable July and August overall. You know, a lot of wet weather, so not what we call your average summer. But uh, this week seems to be making up for it. I'm very glad about that. So today's walk, it's about eight and a half miles and the, sort of like more or less the first half of the walk is just following the Pennon Way up Teesdale so so far so good I'm liking what I've seen so far <laughs> Having passed through several stiles and gates, the path eventually took me beside a footbridge below Holwick Head House. Strathmore Estate. Well, I don't go over that footbridge. I stay on this side of the River Tees, continuing along the Pennine Way. I can hear more water again. Yeah. Wonder what's ahead of me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that because I know exactly what I'm approaching. Oh wow, that is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. High force is what attracted me to come to the North Pennines in the first place. High force is one of the most powerful and impressive waterfalls in England, with a main fall of 70 feet. This is definitely a spot to take real care, as the rocks are slippery 
especially after wet weather. That really is a force of nature. And the water levels are quite low today. Still impressive though. Wow. Continuing upstream beside the river, I soon spotted another waterfall, which was worth the short detour to visit. This is Bleebeck Force. Returning to the main path, I could see a working quarry on the far bank, which announces blasting operations by way of blasts on a hooter. I remained with the Pennine Way, which curved away from the river to climb Bracken Rig. The views of this part of Teesdale were excellent. The path reached the top at a point marked by two milestone style way markers, where the Pennine Way went right along a slabbed path. Crossing over the T's again. And I shall be following the Pennine Way for a bit further, and then I'll be taking a route back towards Bowlees. Okay, well I'm at the point where I leave the Pennine Way, which crosses that bridge, but I don't cross the bridge. I go through that gap in the wall there. 
So I'm just about halfway through the walk now. I walked along a farm lane leading to the main road, the B6277. Crossing over, I took a track and turned right below East Underhearth Farm. I'm getting some lovely views over this part of the North Pennines. Really wild and barren here. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't see too many people on this stretch back to Bowleys. Saw quite a lot of people at High Falls, but that wasn't surprising because I know it's a tourist hotspot. So, but uh, I've seen very few people since walking beyond there. So, uh, yeah, hopefully a, a nice country walk to myself for the rest of the way. I continued to follow farm tracks and paths across fields as I headed in a southeasterly direction. After a couple of miles, I passed through the settlement of Dirt Pit, a real misnomer for a lovely spot with its stream, waterfall and picturesque cottage. Some more wonderful views over Teesdale from here. Lovely. Oh well, I've not got much further to go now. Just a short distance now back to Bowlees where I started. And as I thought earlier, this return leg, this sort of second half of the walk in the direction back towards Bowlees, I've not seen a single soul. Apart from a few people that have been working on a couple of the farms that I passed through, I've not seen anybody. You know, no walkers. And I did wonder, you know, I saw quite a lot of people walking up the path beside the tees through high force and low force, but that doesn't surprise me because I would imagine that's one of the busiest parts of the North Pennines. But uh, yeah, I've not seen anybody on this stretch at all. It's lovely. But it's warm. I'm hot now, so I think I'm ready to complete this walk now. Yay, there's Bowleys. I'm at the end of my walk, just at the end of this track. Fantastic. Ah, what another wonderful walk it's been today. Another lovely walk in the beautiful North Pennines. Um, and today's walk really is the walk that I particularly wanted to do because it was low force and high force that attracted me to come to the North Pennines in the first place. But the whole walk has been lovely. I can't complain at all. So absolutely wonderful. Okay, I'll walk down to Bowleys now and then I'll make my way slowly back to Middleton.